Yeah, but Jesus, you don't know. I do know, come to me. But what about my baggage? Bring it to me. Shouldn't I get my life cleaned up and then come to you? Well, if you could do that, then you would need me. You holy, can't do that. Holy, Jesus says, I take you as you are. Holy, holy, God demonstrated his love for holy, us in this. Holy, while we were still sinners, even when we rejected him, even when we spat on him, even when we hated him, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Holy, holy. Romans 10, 9 says that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. If you're sinners in need of a Savior, the penalty of sin is death. God demonstrated love for us in this. Even when we were sinners and separated, Christ died for us. And if we just confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we'll be saved. Nothing more to give. No paperwork to sign, nothing else to do. You don't bring anything to the table. You can't do anything to earn your salvation. It's not God's grace, faith in Him, belief in Jesus, plus all these other things you've got to do with your life. It's simply a gift. It's the most unbelievable gift of all time. That is the gospel. That is the word of life. Come into my life. Forgive me of my sin and be my savior. Take over my life and be my Lord. I want to live for you. No one else. I believe on you and nothing else. I am all in. 